Bismillah ar-Rahman ar-Rahim. Welcome to Being Guru Electrical Channel. This is Majib Raza with you with a new session on the construction project. So today we'll see uh, some common use symbols in the site plan of the construction projects. So before going to start the video, if you are new on the channel, so hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification by clicking the bell icon. So you should receive latest videos notification timely. So let's start. So let's start our today's video. So the first one in the any project there are some existing buildings and some new buildings. So if you have any new buildings uh, in your project so it is should be represented by this symbol for the new buildings and for the existing building so those building uh, which you want to remain in the project so it will be represented by this symbol and those building which are to be removed from the project area it should be represented by this symbol so these are the three uh, buildings uh, symbols which are commonly used in, in the project site plans so next one we have the, some line identifications so for the fencing if you have any fencing requirement for the project so it will be represented by this symbol then contract limit line for any project there is some contract and in the contract there is some site plan or the available area where the project will be executed so for that site plan or site area this contract limit line should be inserted then we have property line so the property line is the line which divides your uh, project area from another property so it's called property line then we have a center line uh, like in the street if you want to take the center of the street so this is the center line then we have some building utilities service identification so number one is the water main pipe so if you have water main pipe it should be represented by this symbol and if you know the size of the line so it should be mentioned like this six inch water line then we have a telephone line underground represented by this symbol power line underground represented by this symbol gas main pipe represented by this symbol or if you know the size of the pipe so you can mention like 4 inch gas line then if you have a fuel oil line and uh, you can mention the size also so 1 inch fuel line so these are the utilities service identification then we have some mechanical and plumbing line identification so the number first is the sanitary sewers so sanitary sewer represented by this symbol SAS and if you know the size so 12 inch SAS you can mention then if you have storm sewer so storm sewer you can represent by STS and you can mention the size with 24 inch ST then you have combined sewer if you're combining both storm and sanitary so you can mention this COS symbol and you can mention the size 18 inch S then uh, if you have a drain tile and you know the size so you can mention six inch drain tile and the symbol is like this you can either use this symbol or you can use this symbol then we have a trees identification so every project you have some trees and on, out of those trees you want to remove some trees and you want to keep some trees so if you want to keep some trees from the existing trees so you can mention this symbol and you can mention this like uh, size also 10 inch diameter oak or simply 10 inch oak and if you want to remove those existing trees so you can mention this symbol on the project site plan or simply this symbol then next we have benchmark and elevation identification it is related to civil uh, it's very important so this black circle is the benchmark and it's uh, represented by this code bm-1-680 so this represent bm represent benchmark one represent benchmark number 680 represent the benchmark elevation so this is the code for the benchmark also you can uh, mention the benchmark like this symbol and uh, like benchmark elevation 680 second test second number we have uh, test boring uh, tb1 so you can mention by this symbol 
TB used for test boring and dash 1 uh, is the boring number so you can write TB1, TB2 up to TB3, TB4 and so on. Then you have some spot elevation and you want to keep some spot elevation so you can mention like this and if you underline this so you need to this means that it need to be changed like this spot existing spot elevation to change by using the underline line and if you don't use the underline so it means that it should it will be remain same then if you use this symbol it will mean new spot elevation so uh, if you want to keep some uh, elevation existing elevation and new elevation on the side plane so you can mention like this if you want to keep existing and uh, new spot elevation on the side plane so you can mention like existing spot elevation 360 new spot elevation 362 like this so this is about the benchmark and elevation next we have some manhole identification so in the manhole uh, like this is the manhole identification on the side plane also uh, in the details you can mention like MH-4-680 so MH stand for manhole 4 stand for manhole number 4 680 refer to the elevation this can be represented by this also manhole elevation 680 and invert level 675 either of these you can use for representing the manhole details on the side plane then you have catch basin what is catch basin uh, catch basin receives the storm water and it is represented by this symbol cb also you can use this symbol for the catch basin okay next we have some inlet identification so curb inlet uh, curb inlet you know, this normally you will, you can see on the roads and streets this receive the rain water and the storm water so you can also mention like this 680 elevation and this is sign is for the curb inlet and this sign round sign is for the drainage inlet and you can mention dr with 680 so which means drainage inlet also you can use the power and telephone pole or you can mention this circle with t for telecom p for power so this is about the inlet identification so this is for today uh, i hope you like the video if you like like and share and uh, don't forget to subscribe see you soon in the next video thank you